Now, a few weeks ago, we did a video on is your level level? And we showed you ways to check it, which you should do very regularly because a level that isn't level is useless. So then a lot of people said, well, I've got a laser level. What about laser level? So we're back and we're gonna show you how to check that your laser level is level. The question is, why do laser levels go out of level? Well, because they've got a tiny pendulum in there, which is very delicate. And whenever you transport it around, you should lock it off. There's always a locking mechanism on a laser level. And if you're using it, always make sure when you're putting it away in the case or even moving it around the room, that you lock it off rather than leave that pendulum dangling. And once you get it set up on your tripod, you can unlock it. Now the first position here is a locked position, which most lasers have. The second position is for checking the level of things, and that is the pendulum, and you can see that what happens with the pendulum is that it wobbles about slightly. And that is where that wobbling around, especially if it's in the back of your van, you forget to, to lock it off, is where it goes out of level. Cheap levels obviously go out of level more than expensive levels. Some cheap levels I've seen aren't even level from day one. So the first thing we do is we set our level up. We've gone to a nice dark room here so you can see what we're doing. And these levels, they give an accuracy reading of say plus or minus one millimeter over 10 meters or something like that. You know, it may even be just 10 feet actually. So it, they're not fantastically accurate, as, as accurate as you might imagine. So let's just see what this one's like. This is a Bosch, it's a green laser and a pretty good laser. So let's just have a look. So we're gonna put that round onto the wall. We're gonna spin it round and we've got a line over there. Now, you can do this with a pencil. Whoops, there he goes, kicking it. You can do this with a pencil or in this case, I'm just gonna do it with a piece of tape. So if you can find yourself a nice wide bit of wall to work with, then it's fine, it's better. But we're gonna use this wall in this room here simply because it's so bright outdoors that you won't be able to see anything that's going on. So we take the line that we've got here and we're gonna stick a piece of tape under that line. And that line is just there and that piece of tape, here as it is, is just under it. So that's the bit we're interested in. Cross there, and we've got the tape under the line. So now we've gone to the other end of the beam. In this case, it's only a short distance, but we can go around the corner if we want, and we stick another piece of tape precisely on the bottom of that line. Never, never stick it on the line because these lines are quite thick and the difference between the top and the bottom of the line can be as much as two millimeters so with that level of accuracy that tape is nicely stuck there now i'm going to lock it off because i'm going to move it so that's the laser locked off ready for moving now we move it over to the other side of the room so now we've switched the laser back on again just check that it's still in laser mode there. Now, you notice obviously I've, I've moved the tripod over so we know we're not gonna be, you know, even if his room was pan flat and level, it could still be a discrepancy of a millimeter or two. So that's no good. So what we're doing is we're moving over here and now this is why you need a tripod. It doesn't have to be a, a fancy tripod. This one's just an old photographic tripod that I use. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna wind that laser up and you can see me winding it up now on the little mechanism but let me just let it steady off so now i've wound that laser level up so that it just sits where it did before i'll just lower it down there and then i'll lock it off in that position so now i've checked that it's absolutely spot on on that piece of tape i'll walk over to the other piece of tape and do the same so you can see that that laser line is just encroaching into that black tape there very very slightly which means that over this distance which is a distance of 
say 10 feet, three meters, so over that distance, this laser level is around about, probably, probably less than half a millimeter out. So obviously if you double that distance, you end up a millimeter out, but that's, that's within the parameters of the level. That's what it's designed to do, so it doesn't need to go back for calibration. I'm Roger Bisbee, I hope you found that useful. Come back and see us soon, we'll have more tips, more hints, more how-tos.